Hey guys, so I wanted to give you a bit of an update now that I'm on day three home. Definitely has been a huge morale booster in terms of being around people who actually care as opposed to the doctors and workers at Hershey. And of course, being reunited with my boy was the best thing ever. Thankfully, after his first, like, oh my god, Jen's home freak out, he's been really mature. Like, I've been very proud of him for not even being 14 months. And we keep a leash attached so that he doesn't jump on me. But as you'll see, he finds ways to snuggle around me. And now that both of the nerve blocks are out... I am no longer attached to a bunch of IV wiring. The femoral nerve block wore off around 8 o'clock last night. and It sort of worked out because I could time my meds. They say time your meds around when you know it's going to wear out. And I knew from looking at the popliteal block that... It was going to die sometime in the middle of the night, early morning. It was happy to wake me up at 6 a.m. The first night that I've slept at all to let me know that that was over. And unfortunately, I was two hours away from my next pain medication. So it was hurting very, very badly. I was thankful that I was able to call the hospital resident yesterday because my medication regimen would work great for someone who's not a chronic pain patient with somewhat of an opiate tolerance at this point. For me, I'm basically like at maybe an hour and a half of relief and then quite honestly I'm in tears from the pain. And it's a matter of trying to either distract myself or fall asleep. But overall, just trying to take things one day at a time. I always try to overshoot things. And then I end up burnt out. And so I was like, oh, I'll get home and I'll make a video every day. But it's just not happening. And I know you guys are okay with it. And... You know, if this kind of content isn't what you want to see, let me know. You know, if you want me to just simply focus on the whole simulator stuff. Um, but I do want to get into sort of the nitty gritty of what I learned from the hospital stay. Because I think it's applicable to anyone. So that maybe I can save someone from going through the hell that I did, and I wouldn't wish that on anyone. But uh, thank you guys so much for the continued support. I don't know how I'd get through without you guys. So I love you so much. I hope you're doing well, and I'll talk to you soon.